Hi, I'm Dr. Nathan Ritter from CardioGage.com. This video is about Zetamibe, used to be known as Zetia. Stay tuned to the end when I'm going to talk about how I use this medication in my practice. It's been around since 2002. It decreases LDL cholesterol by inhibiting the absorption of cholesterol in the intestines. So it works totally different from statin medications. Its dosing ranges from five milligrams per day to 10 milligrams per day. And frankly, I, I don't think I've ever used the five milligram dosage. I would just use 10 milligrams. Side effects, constipation, bloating, a little diarrhea. This would rarely cause muscle aches, maybe one in 50 people might get that, so way less common than muscle aches with statins. And um, overall, it's a well-tolerated medicine. It doesn't really require lab monitoring, although patients are often on statins and they're getting their liver and kidneys checked, that type of thing. Uh, the proof on this medicine isn't the greatest. Um, there's a trial when it was used with simvastatin, uh, and it did decrease the chance of death a little bit over a six-year period. That's in people who had a coronary blockage, but it hasn't been well tested with a torvastatin or rosuvastatin, which are more commonly used cholesterol medicines and more potent at decreasing the LDL cholesterol. So uh, it's, uh, I wouldn't consider it the best studied medication. So how do I use it? Um, I'll use it most often in people who are intolerant of statins. They Maybe they had a heart attack or stroke, and they tried a torvastatin, they tried um, rosuvastatin, pravastatin, all of these cause muscle aches or some other problem. So then we need some other means to decrease the LDL cholesterol, and uh, I'll try ezetimibe. The thing is, it's not well proven to decrease chance of stroke, heart attack, or death in those patients, and rather we're just treating the LDL cholesterol. So it's not an ideal treatment. And frankly, in patient, patients who are intolerant of statins, it becomes more important for them to eat right, um, eat a whole food plant-based diet, which um, if you pitted whole food plant-based diet versus zetamibe, uh, the whole food plant-based diet would crush it. I also use zetamibe in people who have high LDL cholesterols in spite of maximum doses of atorvastatin or rosuvastatin. Um, so say somebody had a heart attack, now they're on 80 milligrams of torvastatin per day, and the LDL cholesterol goes from 220 to 100. We really want the LDL cholesterol lower than that, um, so uh, we try diet and exercise. Uh, obviously, those are better choices for reducing LDL cholesterol than another medication, but if that doesn't work out and the LDL is still 100 or so, then I will add uh, Zetamibe on top of that to get the LDL to more like 80 or something. Another use for Zetamibe would be in somebody who hasn't had a stroke or heart attack, but they're a high risk of this occurring. The typical case would be somebody with a family history of coronary blockage, say their mother had a heart attack at age 50, uh, brother had a heart attack at age 55, so this person <clears throat> is at quite high risk. And their LDL cholesterol isn't low enough with maximum dose of statin. It's the LDL is 100 or 120 or something like that. I would add uh, ezetimibe to, uh, to that regimen. Lastly, I'll use it in people who are statin intolerant and at high risk for uh, heart attack or stroke. And that could be a person who's already had a heart attack or stroke or somebody who has a lot of risk factors. Um, diabetes, high blood pressure, family history, um, and doesn't tolerate a statin, I will occasionally use zetamibe alone. Bottom line, though, is it's not the best tested medication, and it would be better if someone could lower their LDL cholesterol by eating a healthy diet, um, which uh, the best diet appears to be a whole food plant-based diet. I would consider that preferable to zetamibe. Thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe. It helps get the feedback. And if you have any questions, leave them below. I'll try to answer them.